Okay, so we are back. So let's take a look at where we left off last time. So last time we left off with a spaceship moving through space, but we've got these asteroids that are just flying at us way too fast, so we're gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview window. I'm gonna go up to the corner here and click on Menu Editor, and then I'm going to make sure that my world is selected, and over here on the right, I'm going to change some of the settings. So here on the bottom right, there's a forced movement component that is being implemented, and so what is happening is our max speed is a little bit too high, and what's happening is it's increasing to that max speed so I think what would be better is if we chose a speed that would be more appropriate so a speed that I think would be better suited for this is a force movement of 90 and we're not going to do a speed increase over time because the main goal of this game is to avoid objects and beat aliens and beat bosses and things like that. So let's try that out. I'm going to press play and take a look at what we've got now. Okay, so this is much better. This is much more reasonable. The asteroids are not flying at us a million miles an hour. And so we're able to register the asteroids and move out of the way if we want to. So this gives us plenty of time and we can focus on avoidance. The one thing though that is happening is that our point system is now off because we're collecting the points too slowly and I'll turn on debug mode so that you can see here you can see that our points are too wide it's not going and collecting them as fast as it was before so now we're going to have to shrink those down so I'm gonna exit out of my preview window here I'm gonna double click on my world first I'm going to delete scene 3 and scene 2 because you want to start off with a perfectly working scene and then that's going to be your foundation and you'll duplicate those scenes and build off of that so right now I'm gonna turn on debug mode and I'm going to change some of these points. So first off, I'm going to delete these top two. I'm gonna unlock this one and I'm gonna shrink it down to about half the size here. So I'm going to move this down until it's right there. I think a good rule of thumb is to have the lines meet right here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna press W on my keyboard and copy it a few times. Okay, great, and then I'm gonna fix this because I don't want this bleeding into the other scene. So I'm gonna lift this up just about there. Okay, perfect, now let's take a look and see how that's looking. I'm gonna press play, and okay. Still a little bit too slow. So I'm gonna shift this back up here again. I'm going to delete these points, and I'm going to shrink this down again so it's a little bit thinner, okay. So I think that that's good. I'm gonna press W on my keyboard a few more times and test this out. I'm gonna make sure these line up and let's test it out. Okay, looks good. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. See, that's a little bit, a little bit better. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000. And you know what, it's actually going a little bit too quick. I think I went, a little bit on the opposite direction. So I think I might widen these up just a little bit. And it's tough, okay? There's a little bit of trial and error. I could just tell you to how to do it the right way in the first place, but it might not be the same for you. So it's better that you watch the troubleshooting so that you can see how you should get it set up for your game. So I'm gonna widen it up a little bit and hit W a few more times. I think this is going to take care of it and put it where I want it to be. And I'm gonna test it out. Okay, let's see what that's like. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand. Okay. I think that's going to work. That works for me. It's like a nice, slow, steady cadence. And so that's what I think that we want. Okay, great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock down all of my points so that I am not able to move them anymore and I can mess around with other stuff on the scene without messing with those. And so I'm going to also take off debug mode and I'm going to go ahead and copy my scene a few times. So I'm clicking on one and then I'm pressing D twice. And so it duplicated all of these asteroids for me. So one thing I want to do is I want to add in a defeated animation for my character. So I'm going to click on my character over here on the left and I'm going to add in a defeated animation over here because right now it's only using the template animation that is just a particle emitter. So I'm going to bring in my defeated animation. Okay great so this is going to work perfectly because now we actually have asteroids and enemies and little things that we can run into so the defeated animation is now worth putting in. So I'm going to go ahead and press play and check out how my defeated animation looks. So I'm going to run into this big asteroid real quick and oh I like that. That's cool. 
that's really fast it doesn't take up too much time and you're able to play again right away yeah that's cool that works perfect okay great so I'm going to exit out of that, and I'm going to go ahead and toss in a couple more asteroids into this asteroid field that we've got going on here so that we can have a big variety of different asteroids. So I'm going to drag in the asteroid as an object, and I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other three asteroids that I've got as well. So I might fast forward this part real quick. Okay, great. So we've got all of our asteroids in there. Now I want to start adding in some more things. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in a tiny little alien minion, and I'm going to add in some coins as well. I'm going to drag it in as an object. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to go over here to my objects. I'm going to click on my minion over here on the left, and I'm going to change the name in the upper right-hand corner to minion. I'm also going to check the collision shape, and I'm going to fix that so that it's a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to take this down, add in another node, and I'm going to try to make the shape as accurate to the alien body as I can. Okay, I think that that is going to work right there. So I'm going to exit out of my shape editor, and I'm going to check my animation speed. So I'm going to click on my little edit button here. This is going to open up the animation editor, and I'm going to quickly play it and see how that looks. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's not too fast. That's going to work perfectly. Okay, cool. It's always a good idea to check your collision shape and your animation speed whenever you're bringing in a new object or action or something. Awesome. Okay, cool. Wow, I really like the animation. I do think that the alien is a little bit too big, so I'm going to shrink down the sizes real quick. So I'm going to scale it down to 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. Okay, so now let's test out that scene and see how that looks. Okay. Cool, I think that that's gonna work. So I'm gonna go up here to my minion character and I'm going to add in a defeated animation. So I'm gonna drag that in there. Great, now the next thing I'm gonna add in is a coin. So I'm gonna select my coin animation and I'm gonna drag in my coin as an action type. Okay, great, so I got this little coin here, but I can see already that the coin is a little bit too big. It's about the same size as the character. So I'm going to take the coin and I'm going to change the scale from 1 to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Okay, that's much better. So I'm going to add in a couple coins here. And I'm just going to kind of throw them anywhere to kind of just test them out. So I'm going to test out this scene. And awesome, they look really good. I like the slow spinning animation. I think it works really well. And one thing I'm gonna quickly do is I'm going to go through the rest of my asteroids and I'm going to fix all of the collision shapes and all the animations on these asteroids real quick. So I'm gonna fast forward through that so you're gonna see these four are all gonna be looking like these three here. Okay, great, so I've got all of my asteroids dialed in, and while I was making this video, I got a question from somebody on YouTube, and I wanted to go ahead and address that question. Why didn't I use a distance meter instead of a points meter like I've been doing? And I'm gonna show you why right now. So I'm going to take my label here, and instead of keeping the score type as points, I'm going to change it as distance, and here's what's gonna happen. It's going to count the pixels not the scene. So that's why we use a points label and a points score type instead of a distance score type. So I'm going to change that back to points. I'm going to go back to my world. All right, so the last thing I'm going to teach you in this video is about the efficiency of your game. I'm going to teach you how to go into your atlases and use the optimize and rebuild feature. I'm also going to teach you how to get rid of unused objects and scenes and images. So the thing I want to do is I'm going to take you up to the left corner, top left corner here, and I want you to go over to view. Then you need to click on atlases. And this is going to open up your atlases window. Now you have two really great features here, and this is the optimize and rebuild. And what these atlases are is these hold all of the images that you've put into your game. Okay, and so it's really important that as you're deleting images and you're building things up, that you make sure that you optimize and rebuild, and you want to do this often. So first I'm going to click on optimize and it optimizes a number of eight sprites, which is really useful. The next thing I'm gonna do is click rebuild. Now, it might not always rebuild, it might already be placed in the most efficient way, but it's a good practice anyways. Okay, great. Now you can see that they're all stacked really efficiently and everything is taking up as much of the space that it can within that atlas. So I'm gonna exit out of my atlas and I'm gonna go back up here to the top corner and I'm going to click on tools, okay? And then I'm gonna click on remove 
unused level objects. And you can see here that it removed 67 dead unit objects that I've deleted. So it's important that you do this, okay, so that you're not taking up a bunch of space within your game because this is all just hanging out in the background and you need to delete this. It's basically like throwing it into the trash and emptying your trash. So I'm gonna go back up to the corner and I'm gonna click on remove unused image objects. And you wanna do this for all of the types of objects and items that you think that you might have extra of. So I didn't have any dead image objects, which is good. So I'm gonna click okay. Back up to the top here, I'm going to click on remove unused scenes. I didn't use any sound objects yet. So I'm gonna click on remove unused scenes. And there weren't any scenes that were needed to be removed. So that's good. And then finally, the last one is removed unused components. And let's check that one. Okay, great. So it removed one unused component. Okay, awesome. So that's it for today's video. We added in a couple more extra asteroids. We fixed their collision shapes, their animation speeds. We put in a little alien dude. And we're going to add some more to that alien dude later. But we fixed his size, his collision shape, his animation speed. We also threw in some coins there and checked on that and fixed the sizes on that so now we're ready to really start building this game out okay so in the next few videos we're going to continue to keep building on this and I'm going to also teach you how to go over all the UIs and do UI animation as well so definitely stay tuned like and subscribe, and subscribe.